Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast. This is episode 16, talking about medical equipment. Feeding devices, a nasogastric tube or NG tube, is used for short-term liquid feeding, medication administration, or to remove gas from the stomach. A gastric tube or G-tube involves a small incision in the abdomen for long-term feeding. A jejunostomy tube or J-tube is inserted via endoscopy into the jejunum via the abdominal wall with the purpose being long-term feeding. An intravenous or IV feeding allows the infusion of fluids, electrolytes, and nutrition as well as medication and is useful because it allows bypassing of the GI tract. Monitoring devices, arterial lines, are catheters inserted into an artery to monitor blood pressure. A central venous pressure catheter is an indwelling venous catheter to monitor right atrium or superior vena cava pressure. An indwelling right atrial catheter or Hickman catheter is an indwelling right atrial catheter with the purpose of long-term administration of substances into the venous system such as chemotherapy, antibiotics, or parenteral nutrition. Intracranial pressure monitors involve epidural sensors, subarachnoid bolts, or intraventricular catheters. Oximeters can go on the finger or toe, but also on the ear or forehead. Pulmonary artery catheters or Swan-Gans catheters are soft, flexible catheters inserted into the pulmonary artery. The patient should not move their head, neck, or extremities while they have a Swan-Gans catheter. Oxygen therapy. A nasal cannula allows a maximum of 6 liters of oxygen per minute. An oral nasal mask allows the administration of medication. An oxygen tent allows a higher concentration of oxygen than nasal cannula. And a tracheostomy mask is placed directly over tracheostomy or stoma. Different types of skeletal traction for fractures. Balanced suspension involves the elevation for commutated femoral fractures. This is a prolonged process. External fixation involves drilling holes into uninjured bones around a fracture to provide traction. And internal fixation also for comminated fractures or displaced fractures. Urinary catheters, an external or condom catheter. A Foley catheter involves an inflated balloon to maintain the urethral tract. And a suprapubic catheter involves surgical incision directly into the bladder. And finally, some miscellaneous devices. A chest tube is used to drain fluid from the lungs or the pearl space. Mechanical ventilation provides artificial breathing, and an ostomy device is used to collect GI tract contents after a surgery such as a colostomy. That's it for episode 16, talking about medical equipment. Episode 17 will begin talking about thermal modalities. As always, the outline will be in the show notes. Thanks for joining me.